In this video, we'll just practice some transcription and translation. So we'll start out with this template strand of DNA. And from this template strand, you should be able to figure out the opposite strand, the lagging strand. Now all I have to do is find the complementary base. So T will go with A, and then A will go with T, C with G. And we just keep on doing this all the way down. And this part should be pretty easy. It's really just an exercise in making sure you know the complementary bases. And remember that the lagging strand is not involved in transcription. And instead, we look at only the template strand of DNA, so that top one. So now if you want to transcribe this template DNA, remember that the template DNA must be read from the 3' prime to 5' prime direction because the mRNA must be synthesized from the 5' prime to the 3'. Prime. So to remain anti-parallel, if the mRNA is going to go 5 to 3, the template DNA has to be read 3 to 5. I've been nice and put the 3' prime to our left um, to kind of fit our conventions. So you just, again, line up the complementary base. But now we're using RNA, so just remember that T's are now used. So another way to do that is you can just look at the lagging strand and just copy it directly, but replace T's with U's if you want to save some time. Okay, now we have our strand of mRNA, and now we want to translate that into amino acids. So if we look at our table here, we just go, so we went from A, U, G, that's MET, that's the start codon, that's what kind of signals where translation should begin. So that all, that's always the start of a, of a polypeptide. GUC, GUC, VAL, CUG, CUG, LU. GUU, GUU, fell again. AAA, AAA, lice. And then UAA, UAA, stop. And that's one of the three different ways to get a stop code on. And these are what end translation. So once you hit a stop codon, translation stops and your polypeptide is done, your protein is done. So again, they'll always start with met, start codon, they'll always stop with a stop, stop codon. And now I'm just asking for the tRNA anticodon. So that's what are the anticodons and the tRNAs that bring along these amino acids? So it's kind of like what would bond to this AUG bringing a met? And so now, you just find the complementary basis to the mRNA. Again, in RNA language, uh, you'll see that that is just the kind of RNA version of the original template DNA. So AUG will go UAC, then we do CAG, GAC, C. A, U, 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 A, U, U. And so that's kind of the complete rundown of transcribing and translating a section of template DNA. Uh, some things to think about are that the genetic code is redundant. And you see that there we got val, valine, two different ways, right? G, U, C, and G, U, U, and you'll see that no matter what that third base is, if you start with G, then U, it's going to be a, a vowel. And that has many purposes, but again, it kind of strengthens the genetic code in a way, so that the, in, in case of a mutation, in case of a change in that third base, uh, you wouldn't necessarily change which amino acid is put into the sequence. Uh, however, it is good to remember that the genetic code is unambiguous, which means that for any given codon, there's only one amino acid it can be. In the next video, we'll talk about mutations.